Um. Hey, mom and dad. Oh, I might let you. I might too loud. Uh, yeah. Um. Hey, mom and dad. Um. What? <laughs> um. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Am I right, fellas? Actually, no. It's um. This movie. Uh, Thrice Upon a Time, or Evangelion 3 plus 1, or Evangelion 3 plus 1.01. Um, I, I gotta get this out of the way. Um, I really, really love the movie. I I've never had a movie uh, profusely made me confused watching it and seeing explanations of it. Um, I'm not really the one to really need explanations for, especially the new rebuilds of Evangelion. But I am the one to kind of ponder, and I like to think. Uh, it is currently 9.30 in the morning, the day after my friend and I, my best friend and I, watched this movie. And I gotta say, I've never had a movie think made me think this long about itself. Because there's so many ways you can think of this, but... There's just an easy route. Um, I remember a review, or I guess an explanation, of a movie called Inception. And you could take it, you know, take the movie as face value. And just, here's the explanation, bada bing, bada boom, you're set. But, really what's fascinating is if you just twist a little further, uh, using the very little evidence that you have, you can make something much completely different that is very well entirely possible. Except Evangelion has that and interp freaking fly get out of here has also inter interpretations of um, what a man Anno you know Hideki Anno is actually putting pen to paper. I don't know how involved he was in this movie. I didn't really watch the making of of this movie or anything of the bonuses or anything. But I gotta say, um, man. Anno, <laughs> he is on a completely different level. I feel like this movie um, will definitely launch him into the list of legendary uh, movie makers. Um, or at least writers or, you know, whatever his biggest role was in his movie. So, um, yeah. I, <laughs> um, Evangelion. <laughs> so, I just got back from the theater. I come back to I just come back. Actually, no. I came. I came back from Tim Hortons because I needed breakfast. So I don't know if you've noticed already, but this video is running off script. As in, I have no script. Trying to talk about the third, freaking third. No, it's the fourth. The fourth Evangelion rebuild movie. And I gotta say, I don't think we are gonna have this kind of piece of media for a good while and I'll, I'll explain why I wish I was sponsored but um uh, Evangelion sits in a very specific situation and it's a very good one where the original creation actually no, it's not a very good one I shouldn't say that um the original creation was for Anno to really express his uh, internal feelings about himself and and what he interpreted the world as but as Evangelion becomes, became, sorry, uh, bigger and more popular, you know, it's kind of like, well, you got to make more stuff of Evangelion to make money. And so, you know, a story about a man's depression is now, you know, which girl is best girl? And I, I guess that's not really special to Evangelion, but looking from a diehard fan inside, you know, I, I couldn't really get what, you know, if there was any message of um, of internal struggle directly from Anno from the rebuilds, honestly, and I don't know if I if I just like didn't interpret it as such, or maybe I'm just missing a piece. But uh, yeah, like Evangelion, like the the anime was definitely Anno's you know story, but the rebuilds was freaking. The best way to put it, I think, and it's not even any better, uh, putting it this way. The best way I can put it is, um, is, uh, Hubrick and, uh, with, 
uh, 2001 Space Odyssey compared to Odyssey 2, uh, two sorry, uh, Kubrick compared to 2001 Space Odyssey and and um, the later books of uh, 2010, 2063, uh, 3001, uh, Odyssey 2, 3, 4, respectively. And um, I gotta say, when you lose kind of like, um, I wouldn't say... I don't know. It's weird. Like, I don't know if I should really be saying these things because I feel like I'm completely wrong in this field. But um, yeah. Uh, Hideki, Hideki Ano or Ano, sorry. Uh, I I should really be more respectful. Um, I don't know. There was this one video or I guess this one image where it's like, "Do you have any passion for this project?" And he said no. Um, I don't know if that created like this pretense. Um, or if that really created any energy about the movie that I just, um, didn't expect. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind I felt that. Uh, I felt that in the movie. Uh, this was more sci-fi and more explaining the world of Evangelion rather than, you know, explaining a man's thoughts. And that could be just because it was so overwhelming, um, to kind of try to perceive everything and maybe that's why i came back to thinking that like you know the allegory with 2001 space odyssey in 2010 or 2001 uh it was more centered about what humanity could be or is right now versus 2010 where it's a little more a much more sci-fi and goes into the world instead of you know trying to kind of go into what uh humanity can become and that's not saying that either, you know, Evangelion 3 plus 1 or 2010 didn't go into the humanitarian's, humanitarian's, is that a word? For, is that a proper use of the word? <laughs> it doesn't go into uh, the human psyche and, you know, the future of what the human psyche will be. But, um, it never really went into, you know... I don't think I ever saw any of I know what of what I don't wanted to express. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe I am just blind, and I would be sad if I missed it, because truthfully, I was more um. I was more. I wonder what is it called? The I was more indulged. I should say that's the proper word for it, on the explanations of the world of Evangelion. You know. Um, friggin' the movie. Spoilers ahead, by the way. Um, the beginning of the movie is, or beginning of this video should have had a warning of spoilers if I didn't. Um, uh, well, uh, past me, uh, future me thinks past me, I guess. Um, this is gonna be uncut. So, if, if I, if, if it turns out that I'm completely wrong in this, well, the, the, let the record show that I was completely, um, insane, uh, thinking about Evangelion. So, I went to, as any degenerate or any loner would go, to r slash Evangelion on Reddit. And I saw this one really interesting post. And it really, let me read it out to you. Um, it's, it is based on the biblical, biblical reference of, uh, or I guess the implication of who Mari is. So that's really who I want to get into because Mari for me was my favorite character. Mostly because she was just the only one who was ever truly uh, giving love to um, to Shinji. I don't know if that's proper words for it, but she was just nice. All right, she's my char favorite character because she's nice. Am I saying she's best girl? Possibly, but I don't know honestly. Um, I'm still on the fence on that. So here it is. Uh, this is both post made by. Oh my god, people. <laughs> um, so, the title goes, Mari's real name, Biblical References. Let me read this out. Iskariot, the surname of Fuyutsuki uses to call Mari, is a clear allusion to the Apostle Judas. According to the canonical Gospels of the Bible, Judas is Iskariot. Iskariot? Is that actually his name? I never... Judas Iskariot betrayed Jesus Christ and ended up causing his crucified death. According to Quran, however, his role was not so negative since he was the only one who saved Jesus Christ as he was the one who ended up on the cross. But there's more to the interpretation. Frick. But there's more to the interpretations. The Godex 
Thakos is a collection of manuscripts found in the 70s in Egypt that included so-called Gospels of Judas, where a different interpretation of its role in the, Bi of, in the Bible is given. A controversial National Geographic, do frick, a National Geographic documentary published in 2006 made a reconstruction of the events using the new information that the scientific community did not like so much. Judas was really the one who understood the, understood the true purpose of God and Jesus Christ, so he caused the crucifixion because he knew precisely that was the only way for humanity to achieve salvation. Do you recognize this story? Perhaps Mr. Anno saw the documentary and stayed with that story. Mari seems to follow orders from Yui from the beginning to perform change on Gendo's plans, thus avoiding a bad use of instrumenta instrument instrumentalized instrumentalization freak we're using words like that now <sighs> in making everything what end quote unquote well you and gendo are crucified crucified and sacrificed for the common good and shinji is saved and achieves redemption and self-forgiveness if you think about it it's really for Yutsuki who is given that role by being the one who betrays his boss through mari providing him with the necessary tools for the Evo 08 to go into action and put an end to nerve plans. As always, the biblical, references, the biblical references to the saga are entirely incidental and are not intended to, be, to, be, to give true coherence to the story. They're just like little treats for those who enjoy searching for referrals. Um, that's why, <laughs> that's kind of like, that post in of itself, in and around it, is why I love the movie so much, at least in the world building of Evangelion. It explains so much, yet we are so confused. Um, Evangelion has never been black and white with its, with its explanation of the rules this much in this movie. And I need to re-watch it, just to make sure my memory's correct. But if I'm wrong, I'm spreading fake news to everyone who watches this. But if you are watching this and you've watched it for the fifth time, go ahead, roast the frick out of me, I don't care. That's right. I'm not swearing. Um, so, holy smokes, there was a... Uh, you can make a spear out of a dead angel? Or, I mean, what are Ava's again? So, okay, so... The only... Um, frick. Um, the only... If, if, if memory serves correct, only Unit 1 is the only Adam, or the only... Evangelion... That is of Adam, while well, the rest are angels or Lilith, Liliths. Um, so, frick, I'm already lost. Okay, so, <laughs> um, this movie, at least with uh, the motivations of characters, was plain thought out so well. We've never seen Gendo straight up just say, "Hey, uh, listen, man." Uh, I'm doing all of this so I can see your mom again, right? I mean, we all we, we all know that's what that's why he was doing it, but I've never seen him actually be like, "Hey, Shinji, um, I want to be with your mom again because she's the one who gave me purpose in life, and being without her sucks balls." And I feel like leaving you was good enough punishment for me, except I couldn't do the things that I wanted to. So, I needed you to help me out on this human instrumentality project. Like, that's like, you know, not exactly quote pro, but like, holy crap, Gendo, you know? You're like a crazed madman, and all of a sudden you're telling me all of this? Like, boy, calm down, man. Like, the last third of this movie is just bangers after bangers after bangers of not only just scripts and lines, but also, like, how beautiful uh, the art is. Like, you guys need to watch the movie, and... You know, I'm not gonna really display any screenshots just because I don't know how these laws, you know, international laws work. So I'm just gonna respect the fact that you could just watch it and everyone probably has Amazon Prime. So please just watch it or at least watch the first three rebuild movies. But, um, holy smokes. Um, where else? Where else? Asuka. Holy smokes. Turns out she's like the, like the, how many kind of, like... What kind of was she? There's a word for it. It started with the word, or the letter S. So, she's, 
almost like Ray, or uh, basically is Ray, where like the best one is the one that is sent up. And her seeing Shinji with a happy family, like holy smokes! And then, if if my brain is correct in interpreting this, Shinji sending Asuka off and saying, "Hey, I liked you too." The end of Evangelion, or at least that scene, makes the end of Evangelion the worst movie if you are an Asuka and Shinji fan, like if you ship the two, because now you know canonically, not really necessarily canonically, but it was a very big hint that in that movie, especially with how they display Shinji and Asuka on the freaking beach, they're like, hey, I liked you too. Like, you two, if you two were not as broken, if you had extra brain cells to work from, maybe you would have actually gotten together and not triggered another impact but you know hey it is what it is um ray ray was the most interesting send-off personally just because ray also displays the send-off of the series not just ray the character herself um that's what shinji wants neon genesis a new beginning like this is I'm not going to go further into it because I, I feel like I'm going to be so out, outlandishly wrong because I know I am. But just having that scene of Rei and Shinji talking in front of that projector with the projector displaying in between them, I've never seen such a beautiful send-off to the series itself. I feel like if the movie just ended right there, yeah, it would have been jarring. But, you know, hey, it makes sense and I like it. Um, oh my goodness, Watermelon Boy! <laughs> I've never, I've never been so happy seeing a side character alive. Um, um, Kaoru, he's Kaoru, um, but Watermelon Boy, <laughs> I'm just so glad he's there. And seeing him again, you know, was wonderful. And seeing his and Masato's son banger i was like i remember watching that and you know we weren't in a theater obviously we were just watching amazon prime on really good surround sound which by the way can i just go <laughs> freaking mari is the best use of surround sound when oscar was going down the pile of the the quote physical man manifestations i don't know were they fighting uh angel types they were either they were going through like a bunch of them um, and then you just see <laughs> Unit 08 just, and Mar, you just hear Mar, <laughs> like, uh, um, what else? Uh, um, I can't, I can't tell. This is, this vi I'm, I'm going on 18 minutes here. Is this video going to be a review or an interpretation? It's not going to be an interpretation. I feel like this is just a, a very rambly review. But I'm going to rest my case. 20 minutes is my limit. I got a minute 30 left. Uh, Shinji being sent off and Yui be and Gendo being sacrificed. That was the best, uh, you know, kind of universe for them. Because Gendo and Yui could be together. But they have to sacrifice themselves to send off their son and actually have him have a decent life. Um. um what else? I would love to believe... That uh, this whole, this whole universe, like people are saying, this this is a new universe, making a new universe instead of changing the current universe. I would like to believe that Shinji kept some things, because I feel like him seeing uh Misato and Watermelon Boy together and be like, no, we we can't have this because you know we have to make a new universe without Ava's. They would have never met. I feel like Shinji would not be sitting well with that. I feel like he would actually. You know, like the time that he was actually sending people off was, you know, like a, like a long time. He actually thought about the things he did each and every single moment. Um, and wow, uh, Oscar Ray having decent lives now. Freaking fly, stop. Um, and Mari. Yeah, I think Mari is my favorite character thus far. Um, freaking Toji and Hickory Sticks. Getting together, I, uh, I've never been so happy seeing them. Uh, I'm at my 20 minutes. Oh, well, I'm just going to keep going. Um, Yeah, Toji and Ida. Freaking Ida, man. 
Why would you let Asuka, like, run around, like, on in her underwear, playing video games, you know? Like, I don't think, like, I feel like, you know, Toji and Ida are, like, the best bros for Shinji. I feel like if it, if it was past them, they would have been like, you know, Shinji, get the heck up, you know? But, you know, Shinji being, uh, quote-unquote, from what my friend my friend and I called him during the movie, a bitch boy. Um, you know, it would have ended more poorly. Also, freaking that r- version of Ray dying when he was finally getting attached to her. And you're like, yeah, we'll just keep the new name, or, you know, just keep the old name, Ray. You're still Ayanami, you know. I finally accepted the 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 music player that you, that... I know I own, and I just never accept it back. And it just freaking blows up. I still need to... I, I don't know if I should watch rewatch this movie. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Um, I feel like the wonder and the mystery and trying to piece together everything was the greatest feeling that I've had watching movie. Um, I've never, this is, I've never really watched a movie where, like, dang, I went dang. That's it, you know? Um, I've never been so satisfied with, uh, a movie before while still trying to ponder and have a mystery about it. And I feel like that's the balance that the movie, you know, got that other movies just can't. So, Evangelion 3 plus 1, this is my ramble on it. Is it a review? Is it an interpretation? Is it me gushing about it? Maybe it's all three combined. But at the end of the day, here's my thing. If you haven't watched uh, the rebuilds of Evangelion or even the original series, I'd recommend doing so. And if you know you can't get into it, that's fine. Um, Evangelion is a very big pill to swallow. And I wouldn't recommend trying to swallow it, you know, just under in one go. I don't think you can. Um, and you shouldn't, especially the original series. Um, but if you are a fan of Evangelion, um, I highly suggest getting Amazon Prime. Uh, they have a trial going for the 30 days. Just watch that movie, and hey, might as well marathon all the other rebuilds. Um, watch it. And I would like to hear other interpretations of this movie. I mean, hey, if even if some if you somehow ended up here, I'd recommend going down below, sending a comment because I do love reading uh, interpretations. Because at the end of the day, we don't know the final answer. And some say humanity's biggest fear is the unknown. Well, right now, I really like the unknown. And I've never been taught so well to love it. Um, This is Relay Canada. And I hope to be making more videos. But um, please go watch Evangelion 3 Plus 1. Also, Mari Best